But today we won't see any of that, right? No, sunglasses. So grab those sunglasses, Stephen. We have a fantastic forecast, something for you to be excited, to be happy about. I know a lot of us are also going to be excited and happy about, well, some of the things that are coming here, not only through the spring season, but even as we head into the summer season. So spring countdown, let's start out 11 days is it until we have the home opener at Fifth Third Field. The Mud Hens going to be back in action and average temperatures by the end of the month are into the mid 50s. So hopefully we can get that forecast kind of back where it should be where we're talking 50s a little more baseball weather for us you know your spring countdown you are going to find that we have 20 days until Easter the average high temperature should be around 59 so it's definitely going to be well warming up as we go so why not Memorial Day as we look forward to that you're going to find that 70 days from now for a lot of folks that's kind of the unofficial start to summer average high by then is around 78 degrees and I thought I need to bring a little bit more heat into this forecast 4th of July 106 days from now so it's a bit of time it'll be here before we know it but the average high by then is typically around 87 degrees that sounds quite nice but that's not where we are this morning even though it's the first day of spring it was quite frigid out there this morning temperatures those are slowly getting out of those 20s we're at 30 degrees for Sandusky Port Clinton and Toledo and in Monroe as well but the majority of us are sitting right up there into the upper 20s now I'm loving the sun though that we have this is how every Monday should be. It just kind of looks somewhat spring like. I'd like to see a little more green as far as that more lush kind of spring blossom going on. We don't quite have that yet, but we do have the sun out there. So grab your sunglasses for today. You'll be using them all day long. I'm really happy to show that off here even as we go into the afternoon that we still have the sun overhead. Though the clouds do thicken as we head into the overnight, I don't think many of us are going to be disappointed in this Monday forecast looking at those cloudy or excuse me, those sunny skies. But we do have some clouds that'll be moving in later this week on Thursday. We're going to have some soaking rain pushing in and because that warm front and the lake breeze, everything's going to kind of come in and we're going to find that our conditions while well, those temperatures are going to vary as we get later on into the week. But for today, we're bringing a little more heat. You're going to find 50 degrees for us, a little more sun, a little more warmth into this spring like forecast. But you will find in that 10 day that we do have 50 here so to start the week. It's Wednesday into Thursday. We watch that system rolling in that lake breeze keeping our temperatures into the upper 40s on Thursday and then still those 40s as we go into the weekend. You'll actually find it's a little more active here, quite a bit of rain showers that are going to be rolling on in for us, but it looks like there might still be a little bit of rain and snow mentioned. So we're not out of the clear yet with winter, but I love the sun. I love, I love the morning. I'm just going to focus on yes, spring Yes, yes. Focus on today and tomorrow when I'm looking at the extended forecast. Might have to get outside for a run today. I also, a good day for it. I missed hearing. Have you golfed in March? Yes, I have. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure that'll <laughs> happen because I was like, this forecast is golf approved. Or, or, or early March, it, it, it happened already. Oh, so yeah, okay. good to good to go on that. Okay, good. I didn't want to <laughs> miss it. 